welcome guys to another interesting tutorial from us so for us to achieve the dart manipulated design on the shoulder this is what we're going to do i have my already made pattern half length pattern that's the bust line from shoulder and the waistline there's no need for under bust and this that is the neckline which is not cut out right you can trim out the shoulders but the neckline I did not cut it out I've already used this pattern before gummed it back and want to use this to show us how to do this so the pattern is going to be an open pattern so we can draw out the asymmetric design not a half pattern all right so we're going to be marking three lines from our waist um, dart line okay and then we're going to be closing the dart and transferring it to the place which we're going to open which is by the side of the shoulder so this is how to transfer your pattern you're going to mark from the bust point where your dart stops every dart manipulation must get to the apex which is the bust point in this case okay so i'm going to also connect from the other waste that to the shoulders it is left for you to identify where you want to transfer this um that to to form your design so once that is done i'm going to open the waist that open the boss that of course your pattern should have both a waist that and a boss that okay so once that is done we are going to close the boss that you can decide to cut it out and close back you can decide to just um, hold it and tape it down transfer it to your waist area and from there you can transfer to another place so let's just watch and see how it's going to be i hope this is going to make so much sense to someone so I'm closing the other side of the boss that I'm closing the other side of the boss that once you close it out you tape it down so it doesn't open I didn't cut it entirely because I thought I was going to use it the paper again okay so now it's for us to transfer to the shoulder area this is a one shoulder um, design so I'll cut to the point of the bust I'll cut to the point of the bust and close the waist that as you can see so so mates I hope this is making sense to you please kindly subscribe to this channel and keep watching if you're a returning subscriber just keep on watching we have more interesting videos to bring to your enjoyment okay so we've transferred this and we're also going to transfer the other side so you cut open depending on where you're transferring to of course this we're cutting open the neck area the neck area so that we can have fullness on the neck line just as the picture shows okay so I'm cutting this part I'm cutting into two places close to each other though from the midpoint of the neckline to the other part of the shoulder and then I'm going to close the waist that you can see that the dart has transferred has been transferred to the neck area right so the next thing i'm going to do is to fix paper underneath to help the paper you're fixing underneath is to help hold this opening together right is to help and hold them together so that it doesn't um misbehave and you'll be able to hold it and do whatever you like with it so once you insert the paper underneath 
we are now going to tape it down. You're going to tape it down. If you have a masking tape, that is the best to use so that it will be easy for you to remove it and um, use your design into something else. It's not going to tear the paper. Okay, so I've added papers on all of this and of course you're going to identify where the fullness started and where your actual measurement is. So this is how we are going to close it and make sure you don't close up to your actual measurement. Only close the added fullness as in the, that that is transferred to the other location. So this is it going to be closed. Closing it on paper just to show you how it's going to look to transfer it to your fabric. You just have to keep it open this way and transfer to the fabric. But still have to close it and trim out the excess parts that we do not need. Right? The video is quite clear and you can actually see what is going on. So I'll close the other part. Like I said, closing it on paper will help you to trim out the part that is not needed. Trim out the part that is not needed. Especially at the upper part. So please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do so. Kindly do so. That manipulation can be so interesting if you understand how to go about it. It's one of the sweetest and most interesting topic in fashion designing and can help you to achieve a whole lot of designs that one never thought it would be possible so now i've trimmed out the excess that we do not need in our pattern and for us to transfer to fabric i'm just going to keep it open and transfer it to our fabric but for the purpose of learning we can just close it back and see how it is So if you're transferring to fabric, you just keep it open, transfer to fabric, identify the part that is going to be held down, which is the part I'm holding down with masking tape now. And you're good to go to sew it exactly the way you wish to sew or you actually sew your garments. So like I said, just hold them down. The video on the part where it was sewn was not actually recorded. We will have the actual result of what is done. Now if you want more fullness, after transferring to the other side, you can actually open it more and more. If you want fullness at the waistline and the bottom line, you can separate the papers and extend it, then add papers in between to create more and more fullness. This is the outcome of what we are making and I hope you love it, right? You're not going to sew this part. No, you're not going to sew it. You just join the shoulders together, right? And this is the result of what we made. Don't you like it? Feel free to subscribe for more interesting videos. I love it. And the owner love it. And I know you love it. I love you too. Thank you for watching.